Today I'm going to be doing another bookshelf tour because last time I did a bookshelf tour which was this bookshelf and that bookshelf is my classic collection. Everyone has been asking to see more of my bookshelves because I mentioned in that video that I have quite a few. In fact I have one, two, three, four, four, five bookshelves in a very small London flat. So an introduction to the bookshelf in our bedroom. This is a joint bookshelf, it's a bookshelf that both me and Ben use and it's currently very badly colour coordinated. It is a very bad <laughs> rainbow shelf. We originally did just have a normal alphabetised bookshelf but after a while because I think the room is so small it just looked a little bit chaotic um, so when we decided to colour coordinate it, it suddenly kind of made sense and looked neater and looked prettier and it's a thing that currently makes sense to us in our flat um, but you know books aren't glued down I can take them and move them and you know maybe next week they'll go back to being in alphabetical order who knows now I've done my little introduction it's time to show you all of the books please let me know if there are any here that you also really love um, and we can chat about them in the comments London in the 18th, 19th and 20th century because I'm a massive London history geek. The shipping news. A woman looking at men, looking at women. Birdsong. This gives me flashbacks to my time at school. Life after life. This is Ben's Brandon Sanderson collection, although it's not all of it. Apologies for my pronunciation, Les Parisiennes, how the women of Paris lived, loved and died in the 1940s. Motherhood. East West Street, this is one of the greatest pieces of non-fiction writing ever. Brighton Rock, this has one of the best endings in all of classic literature. Other Minds. The Victorian City. The Invention of Murder. The Goldfinch, this book is a masterpiece in more ways than one. How Proust Can Change Your Life. Captain Crowley's Mandolin, this book has one of the most beautiful descriptions of love ever written. What Matters in Jane Austen, John Mullen is one of my favourite academics and I love his writing on Jane Austen. Why Be Happy When You Could Be Normal. The Pursuit of Love, Golden Hill, The Reader, How to Be Both. The Secret History, this book has one of the best kind of first lines and introductions of, of all, all novels ever. <laughs> the Sea, Alias Grace, this is a wonderful historical novel but I did think that it was pronounced Elias Grace while I was reading it and for about two years that's how I pronounced it but it is Alias which makes way more sense. <laughs> the Weaker Vessel, Women's Lot in the 17th Century, Black Tudors, Lincoln and the Bardo, the Hours. This is actually the book and also the film that first really introduced me to Mrs. Dalloway and I love it. The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Notes on a Scandal. This is also my favourite cover of all time. It's one of the Penguin Ink, the Penguin Ink collection and um, I just love this cover so much. It, I would honestly have it tattooed on my body. The Only Story. Behind Closed Doors, At Home in Georgian England. Six Wives, The Queens of Henry VIII. David Starkey is a terrible man, but this is one of the books that truly made me. It was the first kind of adult history book I ever read and also bought. I got it when I was about 10, 11, and my grandparents bought it me um, in Asda because I begged, and I've read it so many times, and I've had to sellotape it together. It's just a really kind of monumental book for me. The Witches, Salem, 1692, A History. Sarah's Key, Uprooted. 
in the days of rain. I actually bought this book because my grandma's family were in the Plymouth Brethren, which is the religious cult, which is discussed in this book. And it's something because of the secrecy, obviously it's a cult um, around the Brethren. I don't really know much about my kind of that side of my grandma's life and the history behind that. So I, I wanted to read it to really get a sense uh, of her really and of her family um, because it's the only way I'll really know anything about them. Assassin's Apprentice. The Remains of the Day. The Light Years. The Golden Notebook. The White Album. Jane Austen, The Secret Radical. The Wife. Annihilation. The Cutout Girl. A Little Life. Restoration. One of my favourite children's books. A Bear Called Paddington. The Red Parts. Pachinko. The Other Bennett Sister. A Revolution of Feeling, Small Island, One Day, The Mad Woman in the Attic, Because I Love Feminist Literary Criticism, Thomas Cromwell, The First Bohemians, Feral, The Origins of Sex, The Crimson Petal and the White, one of the best and most immersive pieces of historical fiction you'll ever read, The Testament of Mary, The Secrets Rekept, King Rat, Never Let Me Go, Ordinary People, Conversations with Friends, The Multi-Hyphen Method, Arthur and George, Parallel Lives, Flaubert's Parrot, The Confessions of Fanny Langton, The Rise and Fall of the Dinosaurs, Longbourn, Romanoffs, Art as Therapy, Embassy Town, Victorians Undone, The Nightingale, On Chesil Beach, it's one of my favourite novels, Charlotte Grey, Moon Tiger, The Blind Assassin, an American Marriage. Natives, Race and Class in the Ruins of Empire. This book is incredible. The Secret Scripture, All the Light We Cannot See, See What I Have Done, Bodies of Light, Bring Up the Bodies, The Six Wives of Henry VIII, The Revenant, The Children's Book, Iron Council, Welcome to Night Vale, a novel, The Lonely City, Carol, aka Harold the Lesbians. Testament of Youth, The Binding, The Little Stranger, one of my favourite novels, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, The Beaumont, Burial Rites, The Bear and the Nightingale, Wolf Hall, Romantic Outlaws, The Extraordinary Life of Mary Wollstonecraft and Mary Shelley, The Time Traveller's Wife, The Silent Companions, a truly chilling historical ghost story. Black and British, A Forgotten History. I think out of all of the books on this bookshelf, if there's one book I'd recommend for everybody to read, it would be this one. The Night Circus. The Book Thief. What? Book Thief. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> the Little Friend. The Six Wives of Henry VIII. Perfume, The Story of a Murderer. An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth. Both me and my mum are massive space nerds and we love kind of all things NASA and things like that. Um, and this is actually her book that she lent to me. She definitely will want it back because she's obsessed with it. The Wise Man's Fear. The Martian. Homo Deus. Girl with a Pearl Earring. The Wall of Storms. Children of Time. Painter to the King. Young, Damned and Fair. Peach. American Wife. The Holocaust, Fingersmith, Oranges Are Not The Only Fruit. So they are all my beautiful books. Please don't point out how badly I've colour coordinated, um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and getting to know a little bit more about me through my bookshelves. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon in another bookish video.